All right, so I made my way down the two by 10 catwalk here, the things I do for these videos. But before we talk about the detail I came here to talk about, I just want to talk a little bit about this detail. So you can see we have the excavation hole there and the footing is actually up there. So we actually had to pour an extension to the footing to get it down so that it gets down on to a uh, undisturbed soil, basically the same ground that the house is sitting on. So, and we do have all these lateral ties and we're gonna talk about that detail right here as I swing back over, but just wanted to show you uh, how that wall ties in down at the bottom of the wall. But over here at the top of the wall, you can see the ICF wall and remember it's two and three quarters, two and three quarters and a six and a quarter inch core that is all concrete. You can see we have the anchor bolts there. Um, but as that comes and ties into the garage, remember we had a bunch of rebar that went back into the wall and made an L into the concrete core. And you can see the legs of that rebar here sticking into the foundation wall. And then also notice here, you can see that we've basically plowed out the ICF, the EPS of the ICF, the expanded polystyrene, which is the rigid foam of the insulated concrete block. And we've basically exposed the concrete core. So if I drop down in here, you'll see that's the, the whole concrete core all the way down to the footing. And then we have these pieces of rebar that now tie the house foundation wall to the garage foundation wall. And that's an eight inch width. So it's fully plowed out to the full eight inches. And we get a nice concrete on concrete. Now it's a cold joint, but hence that's the reason for the rebar in there. So let's go back to the studio. Give you a quick pan here before we leave. It's fall in New England out here. Absolutely gorgeous out here. Anyways, let's jump back to the studio and let's talk about details at the foundation wall.